What is natural selection? Natural selection is a process that results in the adaptation of an organism to its environment by means of selectively reproducing changes in its genotype or genetic constitution. Welcome to News News Channel. I'm Rada. I'm Chitana. On a distant planet, there are three species of birds. Each species of bird is similar, except there are variations which regard the bird. The first one is fog mouse bird. Second one is chopstick mouse bird, and the last one is toothpick mouse bird. One year, an extremely rare new species of bird was discovered, which is spoon mouse bird. In this lab, we will simulate natural selection with this four species of bird. They will feed in two different environments. First one is jelly environment, and the second one is M and M environment. As a group, each student will represent a species of bird. You will have 15 seconds to gain as much food as possible. At the end of 15 second round, count the piece of food and record them in the data. We think that the spoon bird will be able to capture more enemies than the other birds because the spoon bird beak has its curved surface so it is able to hold more enemies. Even ants are hard and small for this characteristic. Give the other birds more difficulties to eat and survive. And we also think that the short bird will be able to capture more jellies than the other birds because their beaks are easy to pick up the jellies. The size of the jellies are big but they have a soft texture. This reason gives the most advantage to the chopstick birds. Thank you, Ms. Rada and Mr. Tintana. And now we're here at the very abundant forest. And now we're going to go inside the forest and see what kind of birds we have inside. Let's go. So, before we get into the video, I'd like to introduce each bird that we're going to use in our, ex in our experiment. The first one is Spoonie Bird. And the second one is the um, Toothpicky Bird. And next one is Forky Bird. And the last one would be the shop sticky bird. Materials, paper plates, stopwatch, shop stick, toothpick, fork, spoon, jellies, and M&Ms. So first, choose one of the bird beaks. Second, set a stopwatch to 15 seconds. Third, choose one of the food for its environment. And fourth, with 15 seconds, use the beak to pick up as much food as you can. Then fifth, Choose the another food for its environment. And six, use the same beak to pick up the food as much as you can. And last of all, step seven. Repeat these six steps again with another three types of beaks. Yay! Salt in animal and habitats, spoon can pick 27. And in jelly habitats, spoon can pick 10. Fork in animal and habitats, fork also pick 27. But in jellies, fork can pick 7. In animal and habitats, to pick pick one, but in jelly habitat to pick pick seven. Chopsticks. In and in habitat, chopstick pick two, and in jelly habitat, chopstick pick twelve. Conclusion: The spoon and the fork mouth bird can pick the most amazing. This means that these two species of bird will have the most successful life in M and M environment. For the chopstick bird can pick up the most jelly, this means that chopstick bird can most su successful life in jelly habitat. These are the lives of fitness of the bird species in the MMM's habitat. First, chopsticks. Second, spoon. Third, fork and two pigs. And these are the lives of fitness of the bird species in the jelly habitat. First, fork and spoon. Second, shop sticks. And third, two picks. So there's also comments about evaluation. Wow! So we also want to know what do you guys think about our evaluation or how we can improve in our experiments. So comments there and also, um, yeah, share your opinions there. In my point of view, Next time each bird break experiment needs to use the same person because every person and BD are not the same. It's time to end the news news. Thanks for for watching. Bye! Bye.